Good morning, family. Good morning. <laughs> hey, what's up with it? Okay, now before we get started on everything, we're going to start off with today is the 26th of April. It is 10, 10.05 in the a.m. And uh, I need to come on and do a video because I need to talk to my baby sister. We just need to just, you know what I'm saying, you know, knee to knee, okay? You know, um, I recognize her soul, and I just have adored her for so many years, and it's almost like I've watched her grow up, and uh, to see now that we have some things in common, other than the fact that we are both Virgos, and I just understand her spirit, and it's like a namaste type of thing, I understand her soul. Um, so anyway, I gotta talk to my girl no other than Miss Beyonce. Girl, listen. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you and tell you that I seen from minute to minute on Lemonade. I didn't see the whole, whole thing, but I was in there. So, you know, you in the room and everybody talking and, you know, motherfuckers blowing, you know what I'm saying? And we kicking it and doing all that. So, we was watching it and then, you know, we started talking through it. So, as you watching and talking, it's like you getting it, but you missing some things. But I do have it saved on the TV, you know what I mean? So a bitch got to go back and double back on that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go back and give me a few bars of it, you know, later on as things settle down. And then I'm going to, you know, be able to really, you know, give a really cool synopsis on everything. But what I did gather was, whoa, the shit that I did get, girl, look. But first, let me, let me, you know, share a little bit about me because... You, you like who is this lady? Who is this? Who who, who is this? Who 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 this girl? Okay. Anyway, my name is Tina. I live in Southern California, A baby. I live in the I E. Um, I'm 44 years old. I have three children. I was married over 20 years, and uh, my husband had over 12 affairs. How about that one for that ass, huh? So I know you like. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the fuck just happened? What she say? Yeah. My husband had over 12, so that's over 12 that um, I know of. That's 12 women that he could have slept with four or five times on each chick. You know what I'm saying? I just know of one instance. Some of them, I talked to them, and they were like, oh, pfft, girl, we was together 18 months. You know, it was one like that. So when I tell you I understand that part, I understand the marriage thing. I understand that. You know, you kind of want to hold things together and just, you know, I understand a lot of that. And a lot of people that have not been married or have not um, had a husband that cheated on them, they really don't understand. Because they'll be like, girl, wait a minute, fuck that. How can you stay? And girl, fuck that shit, bitch. I would have been gone. Girl, I would have half killed that motherfucker. But see, you know what? The thing is, it's actually, uh, it's rather subjective because when you're dealing with a man that done cheated on you and you really, really love them, no, it's like, you know, they're not a, they not a cheater all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're a cheater sometimes. Sometimes they get sloppy and they slip get to showing and it's like, boom, nigga, did you? Yeah, one of them. Then there's other times when, you know, it's just marital bliss and, you know, family come first, and you know what I'm saying, we all at Disneyland, and you know what I'm saying, we trick-or-treating with masks and shit on with the kids, you know what I'm saying? Then there's times like that to where it kind of softens the blow, if you will, about the fact that, nigga, you just cheated on me with this bitch right here, you know? And see, girl, look, and you know, not to throw my husband up on the bus, but I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? We didn't already did that on own already, you know what I'm saying? And so uh, I've told my story to a degree, you know, on on the, the little show that we did on OWN Network, um, it showed a lot of what went on, but I think the placement and the time, because my husband didn't have a baby while we were married. That baby, my husband did have a child, but he ended up having a child way before that. You know what I'm saying? The baby came, like, right after, like, four, I think we were in, like, maybe four or five months in the relationship. And then, boom, it's like, wait a minute, who baby this is? You know what I'm saying? So it was like that. But um, 
one thing I can say that when I was married and my husband did cheat, if there was a baby involved, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know, like in your case, that ain't the case. I'm, I'm just sharing mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm just putting you up on how my shit went. Okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I wanted to clarify that because I know for the past few years after that, and after people watched that documentary, they were like, okay, well, damn, did her husband have a baby on her and shit? Nah, that, that was just kind of the way they placed it in that. But nah, that didn't go down like that, you know. But my husband was crazy with it, you know what I'm saying? And see, one thing about a lot of these dudes, though, it's like all they needed is a willing participant. These bitches be raggedy. And see, my husband, he was one of them ones that he was, um, uh, back in the day, they called it a chubby chaser. I don't know if they call it that no more. You know what I'm saying? But back then, that's what it was called, a chubby chaser. And see, you know, my husband, and then mind you now, see, I lost a great deal of mine away. I lost over 150 pounds, believe it or not. So, you know, I'm coming from, you know, I done been through different stages, and that's all throughout the course of my marriage. Um, so I just, my story is, my journey is long and strong. Let me just say that. My journey is long and strong, and, you know, uh, girl, I can go from the beginning to the end. We'll be sitting up in this motherfucker snotting, and, girl, I can't believe, oh, bitch, oh, I'm so sorry. We'll be on all that old type of shit, you know what I'm saying? But that's a lot of videos back, you know what I'm saying? Take your time. You can go back and check my story out. You know, I'm very open with mine because I feel like this was, this for me was, um, it, it opened me up to heal. As I begin to talk about it. And see a lot of people be like. Oh girl why you talk about it girl. You looking bad as fuck. I can't believe you did that bitch. You so strong but you dumb. Excuse me. You know see a lot of people don't. Uh, because it's not them. So you know people gonna, have a, people gonna have an opinion. Because it's not them. But girl look. Uh, baby please. Hey, my husband was on some old. He was wanting them big fat motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Now, mind you, I was 300 pounds, but the women that my husband was fucking, at, fucking with, that they was bigger than me. Let me just go and say that part. The women that my husband was treating on me on, all them motherfuckers was bigger than me. I'm talking about it was one motherfucker. This bitch was so motherfucking big. It was like, oh, my God. I didn't know if that was the couch or her. Me, so that let you know, um, yeah, me and this bitch had a need and need. We, we sat down and talked and everything. She lived in Shreveport, Louisiana. I don't mean to put that ass out, but let me just go and tell you. You know what I'm saying? And this chick was so motherfucking big. And, you know, because she had invited me over. You know what I'm saying? We sat up. We talked about it. His stupid ass was sitting right there. I had that motherfucker take me right over to the high house. That let you know how bad I was. I was like, no, motherfucker. I don't know nothing about all this right here, plain dealing, all this old type of shit. I don't know nothing about the bottoms and all that old type of shit. But, nigga, you finna take me over here to old girl's house because I need to get to the bottom of all this right here. But I was young. I was newly married. Like, I was like in my 20s or something. Girl, look. That's when we had moved to Shreveport. We had moved to Shreveport early in our marriage, and we was there for about a year. And, you know, I brought my ass back to California real motherfucking quick. I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck's going on? You know what I'm saying? I was, nigga, I was in a time warp like a motherfucker. I was like, wait a minute, did they say yes, sir? I didn't understand. I couldn't vibe with it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was having soul glows and motherfucking dangling earrings with a motherfucking cross on it. I said, oh, uh-uh. Pinky rings and shit. And, hey. Them niggas was looking like Lenny down there, baby. They was looking like Jerome and all that. I was like, oh, my God, they got gold teeth in their mouth. Nigga, if you don't take me home, what's going on? I had to go. I, I, it, was, it was something that I wasn't even, I, I was like, I don't know what this is. You know what I mean? So, we came back to California, but the bullshit never stopped. You know what I'm saying? It was just one bitch after the next, you know? So, girl, but look, check this out, though. How about at the end? Okay, judge was like, okay, well, look, you are, what you, uh, you, you accustomed to what? Okay, you accustomed to what now? Because, see, I got married in the state of California. Okay, see, see, so, see, my documents, y'all better look it up on how I go down in California. Uh, whatever you have been, uh, accustomed to, you are still accustomed to. You understand me? You still gonna be provided for, okay? So, I have to say that uh, everything is everything. 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to leave it right there and let it go with it. You know what I mean? Everything is everything. I'm all right. You understand me? I'm good. Okay? And then we had three children in the, you know, in the midst of the marriage. I got married in 94. And uh, so, uh, you know, we had three kids as a product of the marriage. And see, for me, you know, I just didn't want to charge. One thing about it, though, I didn't want to charge it to my children, the demise of my marriage. So I stayed. My kids was very little, like your baby. You know, I was like, how the fuck you just going to leave? And you know what I'm saying? This daddy right here, you know what I mean? And you just going to just take the kids up and you just going to go. It took me a long time to do that, you know. Um, I think it was, what, 2006, August the 1st. I'll never forget. And that was the day I was like, you know what, nigga, I'm, I'm up out of this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I called my mama and told my mama. I just gave her a brief little synopsis of what was jumping off. And my mama at the time, my dad had passed so. My mom was in her home by herself, and my mom had a huge home. And so she, you know, I was like, you know what, let me, I'm up out of this motherfucker. And I, I packed up motherfucking sitting spins and shit, and, you know, uh, nigga, uh, get that bottle warmer and all that, whatever the fuck I needed at that time. You know, I packed up all that shit, and I was out of there, okay? And I think my baby, my youngest, was around kindergarten or you know something like that i don't i don't remember it's been so long ago no maybe that nigga was older than that I don't know what. so if that's 2006 he was 2001 yeah he was kindergarten that is okay so you know he was on you know he was on you know trying to ride tricycle and all that old type of shit baby i got all that shit look we taking all this grandma house you know what i mean and we just jetted out went to my mom's and you know that's what it was and you know, so girl, my, my journey is strong and long, you know. But I also have to thank you for um, when I was going through my weight loss journey. I know I'm all over the place, you know what I'm saying? This ain't got shit to do with lemonade. But, you know what I'm saying? I understand your soul. So I'm just sharing a little bit about me and how you helped me get up and get over a few things. Girl, when I was, you know, going through my weight loss journey and stuff, and I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a thick girl, but I'm all right with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm 44 motherfucking years old, and I got a little spike on it. You know what I'm saying? I got a little curve, a little hook on it, and I'm all right with it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm good right here. If I don't never lose nothing now, more pound, I'm cool. Because, first of all, I ain't never been skinny no way, so I don't even know what it is. I can't even wear what you wear, and I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? I'm good with that, but I'll fuck up a motherfucking jumpsuit, though. Give me one of them motherfuckers and watch what's happening. I, I tell you what, give me a badass motherfucking jumpsuit. Now, <clears throat> I can't walk in heels like you, though. That's fucked up. My shoe game is tight, but I can't walk in these motherfuckers. I'm still trying. Girl, I've done all kinds of videos about me trying to walk in these motherfucking heels. I can't do it. You know, and see, you done fucked it up for a whole bunch of us because niggas really want to believe that... You know, when you put these heels and shit on, nigga, you're supposed to drop it down, get low, get the eagle on and all that. You can't do a... Us regular motherfuckers can't do all that shit with no heels on, okay? Now, see, give me some kittens. I will fuck some shit up. Do you understand me? Oh, my God. Drop down, get low and uh, all that. No problem. Now, my left leg from time to time decides that it wants to click. I'm just telling you that right now. I'm 44, okay? Now, this motherfucker right here... Now, I don't know if it's just <clears throat> a byproduct of that 343, because that's, that's how much I used to weigh. But I think it was that 343 that kind of fucked my, my left kneecap up, because that motherfucker, it do click sometimes. Real shit, square in it. This motherfucker clicks sometimes. But, <clears throat> I tell you what, though, that formation is no problem. Now, I'm going to be able to ego about four times and I can't do it no more. Now I'm not gonna do it right now to fuck this whole video up, but trust it, one of these days I'm gonna come on this motherfucker and I'm really feeling myself. See right now I'm just a mediocre motherfucker right now. But um one of these days I'm gonna go ahead on and show them what it is, but I'm watch, I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go ahead on and put my little whoop wop on. I'm gonna put that formation shit on because I believe in all that. You understand me? One thing about us Virgos we don't really compare ourselves to no motherfucking body, do we? We run our own shit, and that's me, okay? That's always been me. I've always been, well, you know how, like, motherfuckers now saying the Beyonce of the group? 
Well, I guess to a degree, I've always been that girl. But but that girl, to me, the way I look at that girl is I'm not a follower. You know what I'm saying? I've always been a leader. Always. I've always had a big-ass motherfucking mouth. Always the funniest. Always the class clown. I was always that girl. But I was a fighter, too, though. I would whoop your motherfucking ass. You know, I was one of them. And I was one of them that was I was never scary. And so, you know, I was always a front runner. But so when you're one of them, who do you really compare yourself to? Because when you're looking at other motherfuckers, like, bitch, okay, uh, yeah, what we talking about? Okay, now what else is going on? Yeah. So see, you know, I believe that, you know, and I, but I, even at my heaviest of weight, even when my life was real low, I still did not compare myself with anyone. I've, I've always tried to do better than what I did before. I've always been that girl. Like right now, it's like, okay, well, sometimes I ask myself, you know, how far are you trying to go? What all are you trying to do? And I just don't get tired. You just don't get tired. And it's a trip on how people trip off of us. Because I'm certain your husband probably be like, damn, why don't you go to sleep? Get in the bed. And you be just up walking around. Well, see, me, okay, 44-year-old Virgo, gets up and I just walk around. I walk through my house. I go and I check my kids and make sure they're breathing. You know, I go and make sure the alarm is on. I look out and check on my rides. You know, I'm always doing something and I'm always preparing. You know what I mean? Like that hen that's always preparing for the winter and always someone seeds for a later harvest. I'm that girl. So sometimes I'm up, I'm seasoning up my food, my chicken or whatever that I'm going to fry later on that day. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just a preparer. I'm always preparing for something. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and then... Um, I'm always thinking about, okay, how can I do something better than I did it the last time? Even if it was successful, I'm still looking at some type of way that I can do this better than I did last time. So, girl, I don't know. Sometimes I don't sleep. Um, and it's just I'm always up and I'm motivated on growth, you know. And now um, I've gotten into this realm of um, I'm grounded by the earth. And I know a lot of people be like, bitch, you is crazy, then, bitch. What is wrong with you, nigga? Ain't you from Compton? Yeah, I'm all that. I'm from Compton, straight up and down. You know what I mean? Uh, and so, but the thing is, um, it's like, uh, you know, I've never been one to, like, say, 10 years ago. I was into other things. At that time, I was really trying to get on. Um, in the entertainment business as far as acting and all that. And I guess that's just something that God really did not want for me. You know, I was always the background motherfucker. But, you know, but then too, hey, check this out. I have had so much fun and still having so much fun. Um, I still dabble in different things and I'm asked to assist in writing and different things. And I have a good time with it. I don't know, I guess because, you know, we are creative type people. So, uh... But so being background for me is all right. I'm 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 okay with it now. And then, you know, um, I live a comfortable life. I don't I don't have a mansion on the hill. I don't live in Bel Air or any of that. I live in the IE, but I'm comfortable. I don't I don't I don't uh, ask for no more than what I'm willing to give. I don't owe nobody. You know what I'm saying? All my shit is paid for. I do have a mortgage. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. You know, I live very, 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 very comfortable. You know what I mean? Whereas I, I can go out and eat every day. Uh, I can go and fill up my car when I need to. Uh, you know, um, so that's very, very comfortable for me. Uh, that might not be as comfortable for you or different people. Like, I have different friends that, you know, they they, they live on a whole different scale than me. Um, and, and I, you know, on both ends of the spectrum. So... You know, and, I, and I, I, I like it that way because then therefore, um, I think it opens you up for uh, so many different things, you know, when you talk to different people. Because everybody got a whole different story. And when you talk and, and, and meet different people, and it's like what they into, it's like, wow, you know. And then you can incorporate certain things 
and and introduce certain things into your life that uh, you know you've gathered from the people that you've met along your path. And so anyway, but girl, I've gotten to the point now that uh, I love the beach. Um, I love wind in my hair. I love sand between my toes. I hug trees. Um, I've, you know, I've built an oasis around my property, around my home, that, you know, I feed the birds and the butterflies and um, my plant life. And, you know, it, it um, encourages those types of things around my house. And yesterday tripped me out, though, because it was a bird at my goddamn window, right? Now... Look, my, you know, hey, look, I'm low-key superstitious to a degree. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. Girl, this motherfucking bird was at my goddamn window, and I think he tapped it like once or two times. You know what I mean? And that shit ain't, that's really an old man. That's some really some scary shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I binded that and, uh, you know, put my Bible up there to the window and closed my motherfucking curtain. You know what I'm saying? But I still had to Snapchat. Well, excuse me, I ain't got no Snapchat. I know that's... I guess that's just what everybody say, Snapchat. But I had to Instagram that shit. I had to put that shit on Instagram. Like, damn, look at this motherfucking bird. This bitch would not leave. Girl, I was able to take a picture of this motherfucker, and he would not go. And I was like, okay, is this motherfucker injured? Because at first I was like, maybe something wrong with him. Girl, I looked at that motherfucker dead, square in the eyes, honey, blinking and every motherfucking thing. That bitch would not leave. Do you understand? So I don't know if he was bringing me a little something ever, you know, coming to tell me something. You know, I looked it up on the internet, and they was like, shit, somebody about to die. I was like, ain't that a bitch? Like, I need some more shit to deal with, you know what I mean? We as Virgos, we always, we always thinking about all kind of shit anyway. You know what I mean? Making sure you got a revocable trust, a living will, and trust. And a, man, all that. So it's like, so then therefore, I don't need something else on my mind, you know what I mean? But girl, look, after I got through looking that shit up, and it got to talk about death and shit, and I was like, ain't that a bitch? And I'll be damned within like two or three minutes they got to talk about Percy Sledge or somebody on damn TV to talk me and Mrs. Jones guy, he had just died or whatever. So I was like, okay, well, Father, can we put that with that? Because I don't need not now nobody in my circle just leaving me right now. I just came, you know. So anyway, girl, but uh, <sighs> but you looked so good. You're talented as all get out, you know. And uh, you got me through when I was on my weight loss journey. I don't want to get moist and shit. You know what I'm saying? A little condensation kick in. But, you know, you helped me through with Survivor. I mean, I would play that in, 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 in you know what I'm saying, in my drays. And, baby, look, I was on that elliptical treadmill and all that shit flopping and bopping. And, baby, I was at it. You understand me? Didn't give a shit about what I was looking like or how shit was clacking together or, you know, what was smelling like what? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I was owned. You understand me? And when you're that heavy, all those things happen. You know what I'm saying? I know motherfuckers like, wait a minute, hold on. Did she say what was smelling? Yeah. When you are that motherfucking heavy, Beyonce, hold on a second. I'm just, you know, the family, you know, they here. So, you know, I'm just talking. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, when you that heavy and shit, yeah, you when them motherfuckers are sweating that hard, don't come up on them real tough. You know what I'm saying? Don't come up on them real tough because I was one of them ones, even though I was a bather, you know, and I took showers regularly. But, you know, when you got, you know, a lot of folds and things of that nature and shit is flopping and bopping and sweat is popping, baby, a. Hey, it could, you know, one of them times it could be one of them, you know what I'm saying, where you kind of unassured, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, but girl, I put my motherfucking survivor on and, you know what I'm saying, now that you out of my life, I'm so much better, one of them, and I was on what I was on, girl, and it brought me to this, and for that, I would also like to say thank you, you know, um, that, um, I have, a uh, like, uh, your concert, um, DVDs, <coughs> I think Destiny's Child in Atlanta, and I got something else in Wimbledon. I got two of them because one of them had gotten stolen when my laptop had gotten stolen and it, and it was in the drive. And so I had to buy it again because at that one point in time, I was really on some me, myself, and I type of shit. And, you know what I'm saying? So it, a lot of your stuff kind of got me up and over and through a lot of things that I was going through. And even though, you know, I'm 10 years your senior, um, I could relate 
you know, to your soul. I could relate to a lot of the things that you were talking about. And then, you know, most of the people that I know that are in the entertainment business, their uh, chronological age a lot of times doesn't really match up. You know, because you're introduced to so much of the world and you're well-traveled and well-versed and you see so many things so much differently. And that's another reason why their children, you know, grow up so fast because they're introduced to so much in the world. So, you know, even though I'm like 10 years your senior, but I can, you know, I understand. So as I was watching Lemonade, I can relate and a lot of it... Um, resonated with me on a lot of the innuendos and a lot of the things and you know what I'm saying about that ring and all that old type of shit. And then like my son, he part of the, what did he call it, a beehive or some shit like that there. And so, you know, he, you know, one of your fans, whatever, he 19, but he really, you know what I'm saying, he, you know, he, him and his little crew, you know what I'm saying, they one of them West L.A. ones, you know what I mean? So you already know, since you live out here, you already know what's up with West L.A. But they one of them West L.A. ones, and they all Beyonce fans. And so, you know, they like, shit, they, nigga, they went over there on the motherfucker that was cooking that soup and was like, bitch, you was fucking with uh, so-and-so husband, bitch, uh, and all that old type of shit. I was like, why is they fucking with Rachel Ray, though? You know what I'm saying? Why they over there fucking with this motherfucker? Ain't she making tortilla super soft? This motherfucker over here making lentils and shit, and they fucking with her. And she like, wait a minute, hold on. I ain't got shit to do with nothing this that going on right here. Fuck lemonade, nigga. I ain't got nothing to do with what y'all talking about. And my son was telling me, he was like, mama, I think some motherfuckers got it wrong. But of course, he didn't say it like that to me, even though I'm cool as fuck with my kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm still one of them ones, nigga. You can't cuss and stuff as me. I'm the one. You know what I mean? But they have for me, so, you know what I'm saying, they kind of convey like how I do. So, you know, my son was like, yeah, mama, um, shit, they, you know, basically, you know, he was like, shit, they, you know, went over there and they was, you know, getting that Rachel Ray and shit. And I was like, oh, my God, for real? So your crew don't be fucking around, which I ain't mad at them, though, you know what I mean? You are a likable person, you know, and, and, and it just is what it is. I got TMZ on my TV right now, just came on. I got it on mute, though, so, but, yeah, I just looked over here, and they showing you on the motherfucking TV right now. Girl, you did that, though. You told a story, and I am so not mad at it. Anyway, I know this is long and drawn out, and a whole bunch of motherfuckers is probably like, wait a minute, what is we doing? Well, um, my girl did a long drawn out documentary about her thing. Well, hell, I just want to talk to you, you know what I'm saying, and sit down and, you know what I'm saying, knee to knee and get caught up and shit and let you know that I really enjoyed what you, what you had going on. I can relate to, you know, the infidelity of the husband. I can also relate to the fact that nigga, uh, do this one more again and this is right here is about to jump off. But for me, it took me 12 12 times before I was like, nigga, even though I did fuck up cars, I fucked up cars, I slapped him around, uh, you know, when you find out that your husband cheating on you, you know, you go through a array of things, you know what I'm saying, Just, and especially when you low-key a fighter any motherfucking way, nigga, please, nigga, I'm gonna slap the slob out of your motherfucking mouth, and this bitch told me what now, because hey, I'm one of them ones that's gonna call up on the phone, I'm going through your phone, and I'm calling these motherfuckers from your goddamn phone now. So then therefore, they make sure this bitch answer. You know what I mean? I'm putting on a speaking and everything. She telling her, oh, well, yeah, well, he was doing this right here. And, yeah, he came and picked me up. And the motherfucker gave me $25 or whatever. Girl, please, honey. Been there and done that. Okay? Been there and done that. So I can relate to all of that. But then I saw in the little thing that you did a video with him and shit, you was like, well, shit, nigga. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's the ball shit, nigga. I'm going to talk crazy to your motherfucking ass, but I'm going to still need you to cameo on this motherfucker. Fuck with all, with all this right here. I'm going to still need you to come up in this motherfucker and let us know. Let everybody know that we still won. That we just some regular niggas that done went through this right here. But at the end of the day, is he right here? Okay, is he right here, though? Okay, yeah, we done went through all that right there. We just, we, you know, we like everybody else, you know what I mean? But he right here, though, let that bitch know. Yeah, but you gave up some pussy and all that old type of shit, and you did all that, let the nigga do all that right there to you. But bitch, guess what? I got all this right here. Uh, can shut your shit down, too, low key, you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, girl, I ain't mad at you. And old girl that he was fucking with, but see, one thing about it, he did fuck with somebody that was cute. That don't make it. That don't make it better. 
But that lets you know that he's a different caliber of motherfucking nigga. Because these niggas out here, I'm telling you, just all they need is a willing participant. Them bitches be, these motherfuckers be limping. Some of these motherfuckers be on oxygen. All con- It don't matter. It don't matter. But to see that he, you know what I'm saying, didn't do one of them and he went like that. Girl, please, honey, because some of these, I'm telling you right now, I stand with a whole long line, and I'm not one to just, I don't want to be talking about nobody, but I'm just saying that a lot of times when your husbands be cheating on you, they cheat on you with a downgrade. I don't know what the fuck that is. Now, to you, for her, yeah, she's a downgrade to you because then therefore, okay, what they say, you the queen bee, a queen bay, whatever. So, yeah, she's a downgrade because she ain't got your coin. She ain't got the same friends at the motherfucking bank. Let's just go and say that part. They ain't gonna take this bitch to the back. They gonna go ahead and have this, this bitch gonna go right up to the teller. But then there are some people that, you know what I'm saying, you come into the motherfucking bank, nigga, you going to the back with the boss and all them motherfuckers with, a, with some, with some, you want some tea or you want some uh, champagne or what, 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 what you want while we go ahead and get out. Are you going in safe deposit boxes today or what we about to do? You know what I'm saying? See, no, she's going right to the teller. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? So, to a degree, did he downgrade? Yeah, he downgraded when it came down to that right there. But is she cute? Yeah, I think she, you know what I'm saying? She's a cute girl. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, hey. You know what I'm saying? Good hair, whatever. Shit, we can buy that shit, can't we? What that mean, good hair? Girl, I'm so sick of that motherfucking shit. I don't even know what to say. You know, because back in, well, I don't know if they still battle on that. Color... I'm yellow bone, I'm red bone, I'm, you know, I got good hair, I'm this, that. What does that mean? All of us get cheated on. The baddest of bitches get cheated on. So let's just go and put that out right there. So does that really give you a one-up on me because you got a different texture of hair than I, than I got, bitch? Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers feel like just because they light-skinned that they got an automatic jump on everybody else, bitch. What is that? I done seen some real, some motherfuckers that look rather peculiar that might be a couple of shades lighter than me. Just because you're lighter than me, was that? what does that mean? Or just because I'm darker than you, does that mean that I got a one-up on you to the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice? I mean, come on. I know that that's always been said. It was always been said as I was a kid, too. You know, darker the berry and all that old type of shit, but... You know, I think it's all, you know, everybody got their own get down, you know. I think looks can be subjective. But, you know, hey, but we do say it, though. Because didn't you say the one with the good hair? Yeah, because I guess that's just some long line shit that will just turn into a whole nother video. That just turned into a whole nother discussion, doesn't it? Because us as black women, oh my God, the rivalry is crazy. And it's just, I don't understand it anymore. That's why even on this YouTube platform, you know, when shit get too crazy, me, I get out the way like a motherfucker. Because I'm like, you know what, I am not getting ready to argue with this motherfucker. I'm not going to go back and forth with you, bitch. Okay, then therefore, let me go head on and sit down and you do you. You know what I'm saying? You do you. I, and then therefore, let me back the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You know, I might not be in the same situation that you in, which means I don't have to come on this motherfucker and, you know what I'm saying, do all that right there. But, hey, if that's what helps you get, you know what I'm saying, your shit to the next level, then you do that. But I'm going to get out the way because I'm not in competition with you no way. So let me move so you can do all that right there. But when I come, no bitch, watch out because you're going to see some growth. You're going to see, okay, she's not the same motherfucker that she once was. See, that's one thing that Virgos do. Which you already know this. We can go on a little hiatus. We can step out for a minute. But when we step back in, this motherfucker got a story to tell about some shit. Because they ain't been lollygagging. That's one thing we don't do. We don't really be lollygagging. We be, we be out here making some boss motherfucking moves. We be out here making some shit pop. Some shit fucking happen. And when we step back on the scene, they be like, where, bitch? Where you been? Oh, bitch, look at this motherfucking right here. Shit, uh, nigga. Uh, yeah. All this right here, that's what I've been doing. All this right here, that's what I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? And what you say, uh, Saturday, the whoop whoop day of uh, April, come and check out this lemonade. This what I've been doing. You know what I mean? It is what it is, girl. But I just love you. I love you to life, man. You know, I could relate. I could truly relate and I recognize your soul. So on that note, I'm going to say namaste, mama. You stay up and stay in the game. All this, this too shall pass. You know what I mean? This too shall pass. It's just a, it's just another little something that's in your path that you can say, you know what, I dealt with this. 
You know what I'm saying? It didn't even break you. You know what I mean? But I bet you that nigga know how to, you know what I'm saying? Mind how you fool with me. You know what I mean? I know you already gave that nigga the once over. You a Virgo. That's how we get down. We're going to take a whole bunch of shit, make you comfortable as fuck. We even compromise our own and sacrifice our own happiness and our own comfortability to make sure these motherfuckers have their shit going on tight. You know what I mean? We ride the back for you. You know what I'm saying? Help you look good in the process and all that old type of shit. So then, therefore, you can be the man, you can show that you're the man and all that other kind of stuff, and we're going to ride the back. But when you fuck us over, we ain't got no problem with letting you know, nigga, you fucked up and you do this, I'm going to kick your ass. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, girl, I love you. I'm gone. Namaste.